Hi, I'm Rob. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Activision Blizzard and whether the stock is a buy after some recent news surrounding the company. So Activision is probably most known for owning Call of Duty, but the company has many other games like Overwatch, Diablo, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, and the massive moneymaker Candy Crush. In December 2021, Activision reported 371 million monthly active users. 240 of these came from the King branch of the company that makes mobile games, with Candy Crush being by far their biggest contributor. So let's have a quick look at their past financial performance. Revenue and net income are on the upward trend, with 2021 revenue coming in at $8.8 .8 billion at a 30% profit margin, giving $1.8 billion in net income. They pay a yearly dividend, which has a current yield of 0.6%, and the X date this year is the 13th of April. Here we can see that Activision has had a fairly volatile past five years, but currently remain up 78% over this period, returning 15.6% on average. There are four main trends that I want to point out on this graph. First is a 50% decline in late 2018. This was due to poor financial performance and a continued decline in monthly active users, partly caused by the popularity of Fortnite, which isn't owned by Activision. Next is a massive 150% share price growth after continued good financial performance, as shown on the previous slide. They also saw a comeback in terms of monthly active users. From September 2019 to, to December 2019, monthly active users for the Activision branch of the company more than tripled. Then we have a 45% decline from their all-time high, which was mostly caused by a sexual harassment scandal. The CEO is at the heart of the anger from employees and is even named in a class action lawsuit against the company. There was also an employee walkout in July 2021 in protest. So all the bad news around the company caused the company's stock price to nearly half. So the last trend I want to point out is a recent recovery in the stock where the price is up nearly 40% from its 2021 lows. So you might have noticed that this photo from my second slide has Xbox on the top left. This is because Microsoft has announced plans to buy Activision Blizzard in an all-cash transaction valued at $69 million. The deal is to buy all shares in the company for $95. You might be wondering what this means if you own the stock. We will take a quick look at the returns in a moment. But when the deal goes through, you will get $95 in your brokerage account, similar to a dividend payment. So why isn't the stock trading at $95 now, if that's how much you'll get when the deal goes through? Well, the deal isn't yet confirmed. There might be some hurdles along the way. And then also the deal won't go through in the next weeks or months, and therefore won't trade near that price until a few days before. The deal has been approved by the board of directors of both Microsoft and Activision Blizzard. However, the deal still requires approval from Activision shareholders. Personally, I think this is likely to happen and won't be rejected, as before the deal was announced, the share price was at $65, so a big premium, but it's still below the stock's all-time highs, which some shareholders would have bought the stock for, causing some to be locking in a loss on the stock. Next is the deal is also subject to regulatory review, as it was announced on the 1st of Feb the deal will be reviewed by the FTC. The deal could be seen as monopolistic and anti-competitive. It would give Microsoft the ability to turn games like Call of Duty into Xbox exclusives, harming Sony's and PlayStation players. It would also make Microsoft the third largest gaming company behind Sony and Tencent. The FTC has recently sued to block Nvidia's takeover of Arm, a UK-based chip maker, and the chair of the FTC is a big critic of big tech. Less than two weeks after Microsoft announced plans to buy Activision, Sony announced their own plans to buy the game studio Bungie for $3.6 billion. Now, the deal is nearly 20 times smaller, but it's definitely something to consider. Would this benefit Microsoft in trying to get the FTC to approve their deal, or harm it? I think it goes both ways. On one hand, it shows there is still plenty of competition in the gaming space, and Microsoft isn't taking over with this deal. But on the other hand... It's another giant tech company buying a smaller company to become more dominant. So after some research, we decided that the deal will go through and we will get the $95 per share. Is it worth buying? 
Well, another factor to consider is when we think the deal might complete and we will get the $95. Microsoft themselves are expecting the deal to go through mid-2023. So let's take a look at three different returns we might get. First is optimistic, and we hope this deal closes in early 2023. Let's say around this time next year. With a current share price of $81.50, we're expecting to get the $95 in February 2023. A share price growth of $13.5 would give us a return of 16.5%, not including their dividend payment, which goes X in April and will be paid in May. Next, we are expecting a deal to go through mid-2023, like Microsoft are predicting. This will see the same share price growth just over a longer period, which takes our annualised returns down to 11.65%. If the deal is delayed and doesn't end up closing until the start of 2024, then annualised return drops to 8.25%. Now, a return of 8.25% isn't too bad, but we do need to consider the risk of the deal falling apart or being blocked by the FTC. The deal might seem like a way to lock in guaranteed returns in a year's time, but there is a lot of things to consider. One last thing I want to mention is that it has been reported that the legendary investor Warren Buffett bought shares in Activision through his company's stock portfolio. This is somewhat true. His company Berkshire Hathaway bought 14.7 million shares in Activision. Buffett manages the core holdings of Berkshire's stock portfolio, but it was revealed that this particular purchase was made by one of his portfolio managers. They bought the shares for an average cost of $77, and Buffett has stated that they did not know about the Microsoft's intention to buy the company prior to its announcement. So it wasn't Buffett directly, but it's nice to know that the company gets a Berkshire approval. Thanks for watching. Are you considering buying Activision Blizzard to secure that $95 a share, or is the risk of the deal being blocked too great? Let me know what you think in the comments.